Welcome back. In the last video, we learned how to make predictions for classification using the Weka API from within our Java source code. In this video, it's going to be quite similar. It's just about regression. How do we predict uh, uh, numeric values in general? How do we make predictions for numeric values? Uh, I'm going to show you two sample data sets. Um, the Q, I'm sorry, the uh, the um, the QDB1, you've seen this before, we've been using it, I think, when we did feature selection and things like that. So it has one, two, three, four attributes, and the fifth one, uh, we're assuming it's a class, and they're, they're all numeric. For regression, of course, we need the class value to be numeric, so it's, continuous, it's a continuous value, as you can see. Um, but these don't have to be numeric, although preferably uh, numeric. Anyway, um, this is our QDB. It's a long one, what I've done is, I've just removed most of the lines and played about with the class values here uh, to use this small data set now as our unknown data set as we did for the classification. Now, let's go to the sample source code. It's the same class. This is why Eclipse here is complaining that this actually is not being used. But what I've done is I've put down the code for the classification so you can find it, commented it out. So you can actually um, find it if you want to see the source code and this one just for the classification so the same thing as before we load the training set qdb1.arf and here we load the te uh, the testing data set qdbunknown.arf remember always to set the class values and then we build the model smo regression the uh, um, the um, support vector machines for regression now we don't print out the uh, values of the class because we don't we, because it's not categorical it's numerical so it's continuous there's no point of doing that here we print out the model we've seen this before when we did uh, regression if you remember i've just copied and pasted the code and the way we do it is just like before this should be smo predicted not naive base predicted because i copied and pasted the code from here so the, the idea here is that to get the double value for the current instance like we did before we don't need the string value because the class value is now is numeric so that's what we want yes uh, test data set dot inst the ith instance so using the dot instance method and then from that method we can get the class value so this is the actual value yeah actual value and then we get the instance object the current instance object remember we're looping through the instances of the test data set one by one we're using it, we're using the num instances to have the number of instances in this data set and then each i now is iteration we're dealing with one instance at a time we get the current instance instance new inst equals test data set dot instance of i so the i instance this method is in class instances returns the current instance or using the index and then what we do is we just call classify instance from the model from our SMO regression model that we built here we pass it the new instance and then we get the predicted value and then we just print out the actual value which is here and the predicted value which is predicted by pred SMO I call it remember if you don't know the class values we must state here the type if it's numeric or if it's categorical we've seen before then we need to put the categories explicitly but if we don't know the e class of each instance then we just put a question mark instead right so i hope the code makes sense i know it's quite simple let's execute it and see what happens we run it and we get the results this is the model because i print out the model as you remember and these are the uh, the results so for the actual value it should be the value not, not class actual value and the smo predicted this here is just a matter of uh, using number formatting to see how many digits you want after the decimal point that's trivial i'll leave that to you but this is the actual and this is the predicted as you can see this is how you uh, make predictions using the wicker api from your java source code for regression algorithms thank you very much for watching and i'll see you in my next video